Hello everyone. This is Pradeep. So today we are going to learn about best practice practices in UI path. What are the best practices we can use to ensure everything is good and safe? Okay. Without further ado, let's, let's get started. First thing you need to do is main thing is security. Security is so you should you should make sure the credentials, all the credentials are maintained properly or stored properly first one is security credentials to be stored you can use any other methods like uh, so we have a orchestrator to store and also we can use other third party applications like uh, key vault cyber arc also you can use storage but in orchestrator you can encryption with it and those credentials in using azure key vault you can use any other thing like that the so second one would be we need to make sure how input files are handled like input files but if you are using input files parts you need to make sure that we are using all config files all the things in config files so for example if you are using excel file as an input input we need to make sure all the parts are defined here in the excel input dot excel Something like this, we need to make sure all the Excel parts are I mean, document parts are stored with config file. So you can just uh, change it later. And file, as I said, file parts. They are the first one next one is file parts. Config to be config. And the next thing is you need to make sure logging logging levels. What is logging levels actually? So if you are doing something, some activity like assign and we do click. So you need to make sure you're logging everything, each and everything. For example, if I will use so, assigning, assigning the value, something like this, and clicking on, clicking on some elements. Clicking on the element or any element. This is another one. So the other one is making sure we logs. Make sure to log. And the fourth one is the naming conventions. You can say like camel cases. Like variable, variable name, whatever you're using. Another one is uh, you need to make sure you need to write comments on this function F2. So the naming the activity, like assigning, assigning A is equal to 2, 1, something like that. This is logging. Here you can do this click, click, clicking on login button. So, why this will help you in when you have a lot of activities like 200, 300 plus activity? How it will help in the sense you can just click on outline. See, if you want to navigate this to click on that button, you can just directly click here so it will directly navigate to here. So, this will be helpful for you. 
and also make sure to add comments control function f2 shift f2 assigning a is equal to one just make sure if you are like, if, like it is if it is important and someone has to make sure that to read before to read this activity before going further so make sure you add comments there and also important thing other important thing is well done camera cases naming naming the activities and comments comments sixth one is workflow naming 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 the workflows so if i uh, logging in to logging in to a website You need to make sure you're logging in and you are maintaining the proper naming convention for every sequences so that you can invoke it later in any other app, any other if it is required for any other workflows. As I said, annotations and then one and make sure selectors are well well defined. And whether the selectors are show selectors should be maintained and also exception handling the other part is exception handling i think as of now i think this, is, this will be the top eight or we can add another one maintaining you logs and assets assets is nothing but uh, security credentials you can use also you can directly there are uh, we can choose at least five like five assets like boolean integer string and credentials i think as of now this is it guys so if you have any other doubts please drop a comment we'll take it Thank you guys.